Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. In this video, I will show you how to make a gaming channel banner for a hypothetical gaming channel. I named this channel as Red Gaming. This is how it would look like after we are done with it. And uh, you can use this channel banner for your channel or if you want to create a new channel. I'll have a template for this in the description and uh, in this video, I'll show you how to make something like this. So click on a new for a new document, uh, have the width as 2560, height as 1440 and resolution as 300. Uh, you want this to be RGB. So now just ha you should have a basic channel art template for this. Uh, you can easily find this on Google if you type in channel art template. I'll have the, uh, I'll put the rulers. I just put the rulers so I have a basic idea of what the layout would be like. And now we can just delete it, add a new layer. To fill this layer with the background color, I'll just press Control plus delete. And now I'll unlock the background layer and make both of these layers as a bright red. Yeah. And to do this, I just added a color overlay and I'll have the same color overlay with this also. But I want this layer to be a bit smaller than the previous one. So I'll just uh, put this. So this will be our channel banner and the rest would be what we would see uh, if you're watching YouTube on your TV or something. To create the basic layout, you will require a pen tool. I'll make a triangle and a rectangle below it. So I'll just use the pen tool to create a basic triangle and make it as a selection feather it by zero pixels and create a new layer and as I said fill it with white create a rectangle below this it should basically snap with the line that we have created that, uh, with the ruler that we have created and that's it for the layout now we just need to add the text uh, the name of the channel is red gaming I chose franchise as the font you can choose some other font if you want, but it should be a bit bold. It should be a bulky font so that you can see it clearly. Uh, now to select this font, what I will do is press control and click on the T layer of uh, T icon here. It will select the font. Now go to select, modify and expand it by 10 pixels. Create a new layer and move this new layer below the red gaming text and control delete. Uh, to make it fill this layer up with white <coughs> now I'll just rename this as red gaming stroke so I'll pull the fill down to zero so you can't see the layer but you can actually add properties to it and the properties will show up so I'll add a stroke 9 pixels and make it white and I will also add an inner glow and I'll make the inner glow to be the same as of the background color. Mm, let's change it to normal so now it works. Change the opacity and add some drop shadow to it. 21 pixels would be fine. Yeah, that's it. Now we're done with the stroke. We want to change uh, the text a bit. I want to add a gradient overlay over this so it has some kind of texture. I'll use gray to white and it's better than just white. It has some texture to it. That's why. Uh, so I'll add a outer glow and a drop shadow. So we want the drop shadow to be around 10 and the outer glow also to be around 10. But I want the outer glow to be black and change the blend mode to multiply. You also want to have the drop shadow to multiply. It's a bit harsh, so I'll just uh, lower the opacity a bit. Yeah. Now we're done with the red gaming text. You you see it kind of pops out the text. We want the logo to be the same. If you have a logo for your channel, it's fine, but I'm using a joystick for this. Yeah. So I want to have, uh, I want it to look like the red gaming text. So I'll just make another layer for the joystick stroke and 
we'll just copy the layer properties for it. So we'll do the same as we did the red, with the red gaming text. Uh, select the layer, select, modify, expand it by 10 pixels, create a new layer, fill it with white, move it below the joystick and turn on the fill to zero. So now all we need to do is just go to the red gaming stroke and copy layer style, paste it here and red gaming text just copy it uh, just copy the layer style and paste it over here now you see you, know, you kind of have a text and a logo that fits we'll just move it into a group a red text something yeah and uh, now we need uh, we have the text ready we'll just just add some font for the logo social icons uh, We'll just add some font uh, for Facebook. We need to add some text for Facebook and Twitter. So that's it. Facebook, let's have it around 12 pixels and we'll make the triangle a bit smaller. And just duplicate the Facebook uh, by pressing Control, Alt, and Shift. Name it as Twitter. It's black. It's uh, it's not a problem. We'll group them up and turn them all to white with a color overlay. So just import any Facebook icon that you can find on Google. I just Google the Facebook icon and I've got this. <coughs> Make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's it and same for the twitter icon where is the twitter icon twitter yeah i'm zooming in with the alt plus uh, my mouse wheel so we'll just group them up and uh, put a color overlay over them and to group them i just press control plus g and social icons i will name it and put a color overlay of maybe gray or something some shade of white yeah this should do just a bit more white yeah now we are done with the text we need to put some texture over the background add a gradient overlay over the triangle and for that just need a bit from gray to white if it goes from gray to white kind of looks okay and add a drop shadow to all of them same drop shadow 21 pixels <coughs> you can actually copy the layer style to the rectangle so now we have the basic layout and the text also ready we can paste the layer styles over this also so now we have everything ready now we just need to add some texture over the background and the front so for the front i have a texture of a paper this one should work just fine and to put the texture you will have you need to have the paper over all the layers you won't be able to see the content unless you until you put it to multiply <coughs> change the opacity to around 60 percent now we're done with the the texture we'll add some texture to the background also we want this texture to be just above the background so i'll just move it above the background layer and change it to multiply <coughs> I'll reduce the opacity to around 35% yeah 35% is good good uh, just duplicate the layer and move it below to have a double texture on the background that is not included in the channel banner I'll add a drop shadow to the banner also no drop shadow I'll add an outer glow because it it spreads evenly if I add uh, an outer glow but if I add a drop shadow it's more on one side and less on the other so yeah we'll reduce the opacity a bit yeah that's fine and now we have a channel banner that is ready to be put on any channel that you want I also added some perspective change to this one 
so I'll add it to this one also so we have the red gaming text just right click on it and select uh, convert to smart object when you convert it to smart object then you can actually free transform it and change the perspective of this that's how we want it to be and if you're not if you don't like the color you can also add a hue and saturation layer and change the color to as what you want like something like pink or purple or blue so that's it for the video guys you can subscribe to this channel for more content like this if you like the video press the like button and if you want more like these let me know in the comment section below